What's up, Cowboy Nation? Really appreciate you guys for being part of this thing. We're going to go over some of the notes that I took of the press conference. Shout out to Mike McCarthy for holding it down. He's representing the beer gang now, man. He got the beard on there. So I believe that that's the first sign of aggressiveness. I love it. You know, I love it. Mike McCarthy says this right here. He's focusing uh, the change definitely on the defense. It's not going to be that much of a change from last year. And my thing is, uh, we want that defense to be very, 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 very different from last year. But he said that the scheme is going to be slightly different. And I believe where the linemen and assignments and where I disagree with Mike McCarthy is on these principles. He said that he liked to craft up the defense for the players opposed to for the scheme. So, <clears throat> But he knows more than we do, so hopefully, you know, this thing can change down the line that he was just muddying the waters or just putting false stuff out there so that people would not grab hold to what he's saying. Mike McCarthy said, uh, they asked him about the uh, where he was when the uh, news hit of Dak Prescott. Mike McCarthy said he was down there in Florida. He was doing his thing over there in Florida. And he said it was easier for him to do cartwheels in the sand. So shout out to Mike McCarthy when all of that all hit. You know, he was just chilling. And I think that you have a clear mind, right? You have a clear thought track on how you're going to coach up somebody when you know for sure that they are going to be here for a long time. And I believe that they can craft up things a whole lot better. Mike McCarthy was asked what he wished he would have done differently than last year. And he said this right here, Cowboy Nation. He said, we tried to change too much on the defense. And we wanted too much to try to change. And it was too much of volume, meaning that it was too much to move around. And my, 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 my notes over here is kind of crazy, Cowboy Nation. So bear with me. So my thing is. Sometimes you can be doing a little too much and you got to scale it back a little bit. You got to look at everything that you're doing and say, man, if I could just focus in on one thing, I'll be better. If I can just focus on a little thing, I can be a whole lot better than focusing on everything. And I believe in the hearts of hearts, that's what happened with Mike McCarthy. And uh, on my other thing here, they asked Mike McCarthy, how... How is uh, Lyle Collins doing? How Tyron Smith is doing? Uh, wh what's going on with that situation? And he said they look pretty good. He feel in the hearts of hearts that they will be okay. And they're working out right now at the practice facility. And he said he do not expect any setback. Look, Lyle Collins, I might give him a pass, but Tyron Smith... It's one of those things where I look at it and say, man, oh, man, um, we need to really, really figure that out because it's 17 weeks opposed to 16. And Tyron Smith been having those issues that we all can say to ourselves. It come up at the wrong time and not not like any issue come at the right time. But this particular issue is one of those things where we look at it and say, we better have a plan in action, just in case, just in case. And hopefully that plan in action will be either through this draft and either through, you know, it's, the, it's another part of the draft. After the draft, there will be another wave of free agency. Maybe we can grab a guy in that, that aspect of it. But in a pinch, shout out to Brandon Knight, shout out to Terrence Steele. If in a pinch, we got to bring those guys back. It, it's just going to be... Ugh be nasty for us but hopefully hopefully everything will be okay now this is another questioning that i would like to say to to everybody come on cowboy nation y'all better do it the right way jerry wine jones and everybody he they asked him mike mccarthy said he haven't he hasn't closed the door on alden smith and uh, of returning that still is a fluid situation Meaning, meaning that he still would like to see Alden Smith go into more uh, uh, details of what's going on with him. Uh, he would like to know if there's a possibility and a chance that Alden can come back. 
my thing is y'all know where I stand at with that due to my morning video. And, and I'll tell you, man, the Cowboys need to figure that out. They flat out need to figure that out because how you going to, on one end, you know, try to rehabilitate one person. And then on the other end, you bring in another person that got some of the similar situations. And I'm not saying that Jack was a Jaron uh, Curtis is a, is a bad guy, bad guy, but the optics are not that great. Cowboys need to figure that out. But uh, he personally haven't moved on from Alden, and uh, that's one of the things that he was talking about. And I believe that these coaches, and I don't think that that was a PC answer. I just feel that, like, hey, he's saying, like, whatever's going on with Alden, I want the best for him, and he personally would like to keep him. All right, so uh, he said that Keanu Neal would start out working with the Cowboys linebackers coach, so they already going to get him into the program of what he need to do as far as reps, body mechanics, defensive calling, what what need to be installed and these sorts of things. And, and within that same conversational piece, he did talk about Joe Witt Jr. He he spoke highly of Joe Witt Jr. He said that Joe Witt Jr. could be could have been the defensive coordinator. That's how high, high of, of a, a praise that he gave Joe Witt Jr. So that goes a long way. And of course, he loved Dan Quinn. Uh, he said that Dan Quinn actually got them up out of the playoff one year. He never forgot about that. So he really think that this team can work something out with the, with, with both of those new coaching situations out there. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Here's another thing. Sean Lee have yet to retire, but Tyrone Crawford, is retired. That was my final note on that. Um, <clears throat> and my thing is with Tyrone Crawford, I, I love his, his abilities. I love what he was able to do when he played on one aspect of it. But the detriment to Tyrone Crawford was this right here. They tried to use him in so many ways. They tried to put him on the outside. Oh, well, this person got injured. Can you flex back into the inside? So he was a guy that was a true and true tweener. I've seen uh, Tyrone Crawford line up over the center at, at zero and, and got a sack on uh, a Cam Newton. So I knew without a shadow of a doubt that this kid got all of the traits, got all of the abilities to make an impact on a team, but he just never could one stick to one side of the philosophy of whatever they try to put him at, whether he play on the outside or the inside. And two, it just one of those things, whereas when we finally saw some good stuff about him, the injuries came, the, 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 those hips, you know, and those hip surgeries and things like that. And off the field, man, Crawford goes a long way, more than what a lot of people know. And for people that surround in this area, they know. Crawford was the vocal leader off the field for even some of the offensive players. And I can go into details later, but maybe we'll do that one-on-one -on -one session when, when you guys see me live at these events, whenever they have one. Uh, another thing that brought to my attention was Mike McCarthy never been to Oxnard, so he don't know the, the benefits of going to Oxnard yet, right? And when he get out there, and if everything, if the world is right, he will see the benefits of it. I think that the players get a chance to clear their mind. It's a compete session, right? They compete against each other, perfect weather throughout the day. And he'll, he'll realize, man, you can get more work out of it. And Mike McCarthy, I think that he is a, a football, football guy. And when he get the chance to see that benefit of being out there opposed to being in this Zoom meeting and try to install things via the Zoom, then, you know, we can figure things out a whole lot better as far as where this team should be. That's the operative word, should be. I think, Cowboy Nation, that if everything work its way out, he did allude it to the fact that, yeah, in the draft, yeah, without giving away everything, he did say, yeah, they will be looking into the defensive side of the ball, right? I think that we are one or two players away, real talk, one or two players away to make that crazy impact 
on the defensive side of the ball, even with all of the mess that we are doing in free agency. I know I'm going to get a lot of people saying, no, nah, Lord, we say that every year. Granted, every year is a different year, but this year is a whole lot different because think about this. Hear me out, Cowboy Nation. Last year, we still had some of the old residue from the previous regime still on us, right? And this coach tried to come in and do too much like he lamented. They tried to change this out, move this in, plug that in, try to still learn the area, couldn't probably drive to here to there, couldn't get from Frisco to Arlington without using GPS. I guarantee you that. And tried to just insert too many things and lost the message within. But now he's more comfortable. He bringing in some more of his guys and his staff and the people that he trusts and believe in. And now they looking at it like, hey, let's put this part together. Let's set this aside and bring this in, right? And now you got a Dan Quinn who's really going to bring back, because they, I, knew, I do know that they said the scheme wouldn't change that much, but come on, let's be real. 3-4 from a 4-3 back to the 4-3, I think it changed a lot. So that would change a lot. That, that would flat out change a lot, and the perceptions and all of that stuff would change a lot too. Cowboy Nation, we are better than what we were last year, and I know we have yet to play it down. But just out of continuity and going back to the straight, straight principles of sitting there saying, okay, this will be our defense. None of this hybrid 3-4, 4-3, none of that back and forth. And now you can draft accordingly. Cowboy Nation, let's continue to find ways to support this team we will, we will be back to the good graces. I think that everything is now put into place. The quarterback is already lab labeled in and penciled in as the starting quarterback. So there's no back and forth with that right with his contract. Ezekiel is the running back. Tony Pollard is back into this mix. They already said that Lyle Collins is working out a whole lot better, right? And if we can get a healthy Tyron Smith, then all of these things can work his way out, Cowboy Nation. It can. Now, they're making some type of an adjustment by investing with the safeties and bringing safeties in. And let's not sleep on the fact that these guys heading into 2021, they can clearly look at it and say, okay, interior guy, safety guy, let's bring this in. Oh, we need help at cornerback. Let's bring that in. And it'd be more concise, like he mentioned. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. Don't forget to post me your thoughts about this particular press conference and post me what you guys think that really, 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 really uh, was separated from what, what brought to your attention from what he said out there on that press conference. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Let's go, Cowboy Nation. Y'all know I love y'all. Let's go. Let's go. Share this thing. Let's go. Shout out to all of the HBOs out there. Let's go. And the SGs.